Let's take a look at some of the enhanced ARA2 functionality introduced in Cubase 11. And this could be utilized with the included Spectral Layers 1. When we want to send an audio file from Cubase seamlessly into a specialized editing environment, the communication protocol is ARA2. If I have a file that has a problem such as a big breath, and I wanted to edit just the frequencies of the breath out without affecting all of the, let's say, voiceover, we could do this using Spectral Layers 1. So let's listen to a file. You may blow into the microphone accidentally. Now to launch Spectral Layers 1 as an ARA extension is I could select the file, go to the audio menu to extensions, and we could choose Spectral Layers, or select the extension from the info line. Now the audio file has been added into our Spectral Layers environment, and we could see kind of a different view. So we could see our frequency view here. If we wanted to see the traditional waveform, we could drag that down. And so what we're seeing is the low frequencies, the mids, and the highs. I could also switch to perspective for a composite view where the frequencies that are more intense have a brighter light and are more white. We could go to a 3D perspective to change how we see the waveform represented. And to zoom, I could just use my mouse scroll wheel to zoom within my time domain or within the frequency domain by moving it to the right. Let's select down. And as we come here, this is our breath that we wanted to eliminate. I could go to my selection tool and I could choose either rectangular or an elliptical selection tool. I will select that particular breath and I'm just gonna hit the delete key a couple times. I will deselect that range and let's go ahead and listen to, you may blow into the microphone accidentally. And now our breath is seamlessly removed and we don't have to re-record that performance. To commit the edit to the audio file in previous versions, we would have to choose a bounce selection function. And that's no longer the case in Cubase 11. If I wanted to remove a particular edit, I could choose to go to my spectral layers. I could go to my audio to extensions and choose to remove that particular extension. Now, if we're doing this type of editing across hundreds of different files, we may not want to launch the extension individually for each file, but instead make the spectral layers kind of the default sample editor. And we could do this by just simply clicking on add event. And as I click on a different event, that's automatically gonna be incorporated into spectral layers. When we listen to this file, one of the things that we could do in spectral layers is actually kind of separating and different components. Late, so let's say I have no a vocal recorded with a band performance. So what I'm gonna do now is just go to my layer menu inside of spectral layers one and choose unmix vocals. I'll hit okay. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a layer for the band instruments and a layer for the vocals. So now we could listen to our file. And as we play, I could choose to mute the vocals or just to solo the vocals. That if you feel the urge to see me, where you best... And if I want to take each individual layer in, I could just drag the vocals over into the project, drop it into the timeline. So now as it's separated as a layer, we can just have both the isolated vocals. From our backing track. I just have to remember. So both together. So you can see that the new functionality and flexibility of utilizing Cubase 11 with an ARA2 extension, such as the included Spectral Layers 1, not only allows you to do 
easy audio repair, but to do very creative tasks and being able to unmix vocals from an existing track.